So what is an electric circuit? What is composed of? It is basically composed of three main parts. The first part is the energy source. And we have two main energy sources. The first one we call it DC or direct current. And the most common example of this is the batteries. The second form is the AC or the alternating current and the most common example of this is the electric outlet in our houses. The power that we receive in our houses is in the AC form. Now let's see how this uh, voltage is either DC or AC will look like on oscilloscope. So this is the battery so I will well, this is channel here so the voltage here is zero so now i will connect uh, the oscilloscope uh, to the to the voltage uh, battery and see how much the voltage you are getting there so you see here the voltage steps up okay and the thing here you can see the voltage is constant it doesn't matter the value it's around 1.5 volt but it is constant, doesn't change with time. Here it is disconnected here. I am disconnecting the voltage, okay, a probe, and now connecting it back here, so you see here, it jumps up. Okay, so this is the voltage, it's DC, it is constant, it doesn't change with time. Here the X axis is time, and the Y axis is the voltage magnitude. Now let's see how the AC would look like. So if I activate, Deactivate channel 2, active channel 1. So you can see here, it's an alternating current. It's a sinusoidal, and this is exactly the form of the voltage we have it in our houses. So this is the first part of the circuit, an energy source. Now, the second part is a element that consumes the energy, which is basically the resistors. Here, there are different forms of the resistance big and small it depends on their power rating how much power they can handle so you can see them these are the resistors so basically the resistor consume the electrical energy in the form of heat so those resistors will be heated and the electrical energy will be transformed into heat the third category of elements is Elements that store energy. So basically we have capacitors, and here it is a big capacitors, small capacitors working at different voltages. And the capacitors store the energy in the form of electric field. Inductors is the second type of energy storage elements, and it's basically a coil, and it stores it as a magnetic field. So this is in a nutshell, what is the circuit components and what they are used for a source energy consumption and energy storage